Hey everybody, time for something new. Uh, tonight I got myself a Dropdown Commander Starter Army. Uh, this is of course obviously the Post-Human Republic Army. And you can see the price here, it's $105 from my local gaming store. Uh, this is the retail box you'll get from Hawkwar Games. Here's the back of it. You get three Neptune medium dropships, three or two Ares Battle Walkers, two Phobos Battle Walkers, two Juno uh, Armored Carriers, Armored Infantry Fighting Vehicles, uh, four Mortal Stands, two for each Juno, and of course one uh, Command Card Deck. Let's see, what do we get here? Let's take a look at the box. Okay, so we open the box. And it actually comes in KR foam in the box. So you get a KR catalog, a double verified contents list, and of course the models. First this is the card deck. But you can use I guess these unfortunately my rule book is in storage right now. I just got done moving and I don't have everything with me. So I don't have my rule book with me. So this is the card deck. They're kind of, uh, they're kind of cheap. They're almost like laminated paper, more than you, more than actual cards like you would get from Magic or Pokemon or something. They're a little on the cheap side. Now that I actually got them in my hand. So it's kind of. A, it's kind of a disappointment. The quality of the models looks like a little higher quality of these cards. Maybe it's just because they're new or whatever. They just don't don't seem very impressive to me. Uh, so there's the command deck. Okay, so let's take a look at the models. What we get in the package for the starter army. The first is the package of flight stands. Some acrylic squares, three rods, and the three little things here. We go on the models. Uh, so let's start looking at the infantry. These are four bases of immortals. So here's the base for them, which is actually still gas resin, as opposed to. Here's the actual immortals. Some light, some focus on here. Here's what you get. A nice close-up look. Of course, in reality, you're actually seeing much more than you'll ever see, uh, even handling them in a nice close-up like this. So I think we've got at least four different poses. Got some armor plates on there, some visible armor plates, especially around on the legs here, like this guy right here. Right here, some armor plates there on the legs. The backpacks kind of have some detail on them. Uh, the faces don't seem all that exciting. They almost look like Blobs, but again, we're talking 10 millimeter models here. I mean, this, this is my hand. These are smaller than my finger now. That's how absolutely tiny they But still, there's quite a bit of detail uh, for something so incredibly small. So this is the infantry. Um, I've done an unboxing of the Neptune before. Real quick, go over the Neptune bits. It's the main body of the Neptune dropship itself. Just an incredible amount of detail here. It's such something that's so small and so fine. And inside. 
inside the engine. So that curling detail. Yeah, so that's just the Neptune dropships. You have three of these, each in their own individual bag. Very interesting, got some flash in here. But still so just read them out of detail. Of the walkers, they got light walkers, or they got scout, or three classes actually. They got scout walkers, regular walkers, and heavy walkers. These are the regular ones. So the bodies are going to be the same, the bodies and legs, and everything will be the same for both versions that come in the box here. Okay. Just an incredible amount of detail. That's the main body. Attach the waists for each walker and the legs. It's even hard to show these things off, they're so small. There's ammunition. And then there are the bits for the other arms, which are these little like radar dishes. So I guess these are the anti aircraft version of the walker. So this is the Phobos. Walkers are all in the, the torso and the legs, and everything will be identical. The difference is the guns. I'm going to show you this. Show the walker bodies. And this little Gatling gun built right into the body here. Little tiny little Gatling gun. So the only difference on these walkers is the guns. These are the Ares guns here. They almost kind of remind me of flamethrowers. Again, I don't have the rope in front of me, I don't have the stats in front of me. So, those are the Ares guns. I've also got an, an extra Neptune and an extra set of Ares walkers that I purchased separately. And, unfortunately, I, said I don't have the rope with me, so I don't know how many points there is. Uh, but that's what you get with the Drop Zone Commander PHR Starter Army. And the retail price on this one for me was $105 from my local gaming store. And that's about it. I'm going to start working on these guys here soon, and I'll talk to you guys later.